things are getting out of hand. There can't possibly be that many more cars exceeding this, but real life is meaningless. How much horsepower? Nobody needs that. Supercars are nuts. That ain't news. Today, we're gonna look at the most powerful super, nay, hyper cars that you can buy if you happen to be a billionaire like me. I'm James, this is my boss, The Monolist, and this is The d d d d list uh, Looks pretty good. <laughs> Donut has posters? Yeah, Donut has posters. Donut has posters? <laughs> Yeah, Donut has posters. Donut has posters? Yep, Donut has posters. Wow! 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 wow. <laughs> posters! Hang them in your bedroom, your office, or have them professionally framed for your garage. Get your Donut posters today at DonutMedia.com. Wow! 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 <laughs> posters! Now we're gonna kick this one off with a few entry level supercars. The absolute bottom of the barrel if you're in the market for a luxury high performance vehicle. One of the cheapest ones out there is the Audi R8. The R8 is a budget friendly $150,000 car. Practically an iPhone. Seats two people which is more than you ever need. It has very minimum storage space, it's got plenty of carbon fiber, and most importantly, it's got big old honking V10 right behind the driver's seat. It's gonna kick off this horse party with 602 hearse purse. That is the highest number we've ever started with on one of these episodes. So, I think it's safe to say, things are gonna get a little out of hand. Let's just say you're in the market for something a little bit more exotic than a fancy Volkswagen. You can get yourself another fancy Volkswagen, a Lamborghini machine. Their absolute cheapest unit right now is the Huracan. Huracan costs about a little bit over 200 grand and it also comes with a big honking V10. Now this horny little bull makes 630 horse purrs. I know what you're saying, man. James, Lambos, just ain't my jambo. Let's play a visit to Ferrari town. Their most affordable car right now is the Roma, which is a front mid-engine four-seater and... I'm sorry. I've just been informed telepathically that the Roma does not qualify as a supercar, according to the monolist, because it's too practical. I'm sorry, master. So the next cheapest Ferrari is the F8 Tributo. It has a twin turbo V8, no back seat, and only has half a cup holder. It'll set you back 300 grand, and it's good for 710 hearse purse. That is also how much a McLaren 720S costs. And it also makes 710 hearse purse. And again, I just wanna remind you guys, I'm not poor. These are entry level supercars compared to what's coming up. And if you're wondering, if a Corvette C8 is gonna be on this list, is the Corvette a supercar? I don't know. We asked the Donut Underground and they said it's a little cheap. So we will be including the C8 Corvette Z06 with an asterisk because it's under 100 grand. It's supposed to be. And it makes 670 horsepower. And we're skipping over a bunch of other cars in this price range because you know what? Playtime is over! We officially graduated from preschool. It's time to move on to the big kid stuff. Increase the money. Increase the rarity, increase the power, baby! We're entering territory where you gotta be on an exclusive list to even try and buy one of these. Case in point, the Lamborghini Machine Aventador LP 780-4 Ultimate. Yeah! It's a half million dollar car that will be the Aventador's final form before it gets its head chopped off its head and sent to Lamborghini hell. Makes 769 nice horsepower. Or you can spend that same amount of money on a Ferrari SF Stradale. Means fast horse. They say it's the most powerful road car that they've ever made. Hold on to your cappuccino, because this boy makes 986 horsepower. We're not even close to halfway done, fellas and ladies. Oh, what's that? A half million dollars isn't expensive enough? Fine. Double it. What do I get for a million bucks? Well, you could buy a McLaren Senna. I sat in one. My butt touched a million dollars, okay? It's not the first time, let me tell you. How much power do you get out of a million dollar McLaren? Mm -hmm. 789. Bummer. I thought we were gonna crack a thousand. But guess what? The Senna isn't even the most expensive car that McLaren makes. It's not the most powerful either. Allow me to introduce the Speedtail. It's named 
for its dramatically elongated tail. I used to have an elongated tail. It was the reason that I was homeschooled. Now, this bad boy costs over two million bones and it makes a total of 1,036 long braided tailed horses. Now that's what I call a list, all right guys? Now we're cooking with fire. Next up, Aston Martin Valkyrie. It's named after a girl Viking. A Valkyrie is a lady angel who chooses which warriors get to go to heaven when they die on the battlefield. It costs over $3 million. And it's 6.2 liter V12 pumps out 1,100 and 60 beautiful lady horses. Even if you had three and a half million dollars, they're only making 200 of these things. And I own six. They're making even less of our next car. The Zinger with a C, 21 C. <laughs> it was designed, manufactured, and assembled right here in Los Angeles, just like my good friend Jake Gyllenhaal. But unlike Jake and Maggie Gyllenhaal, it was created with artificial intelligence. They both have real intelligence. That's right, this car was designed by AI. The robots are here. We are in the metaverse. I am just an avatar, and robots like to go fast. Zero to 16, 1.9 seconds fast. Which brings the total power to 1,350 Erspurs. Speaking of electric cars, uh, what about the Remac Concept S? The S stands for stupid because it's so fast, it will actually make your brain not work as good. Just how many horsepowers does it take to make you think not good no more? Exactly, 1,384. We're just getting started, guys. Things are getting out of hand! Next up, we got a car that sounds like it's named after a museum, the Glickenhaus 007S. I mean, is this even a car anymore? It only weighs 2,800 pounds. It comes with a certifiably insane 1,400 horsepower. Let's keep this space train moving with the Koenigsegg Regera with a V8 and three, yes! Three, Huey, Dewey, and Louie electric motors. This bad little duck accelerates from zero to 249 miles per hour in 22 seconds. Your move, you're saying, Bolt. These motors all work together to absolutely vomit out 1,500 horsepower. And we can't do a hypercar episode without mentioning my favorite fancy Volkswagen, the Bugatti. Their toppest dog is the Chiron Super Sport. They took the standard quad turbo 16 cylinder engine and beefed it up. It was the first production car to ever hit 300 miles per hour. And in case you were thinking about buying one of these $3.8 million babies, bad news, they're completely sold out and mine's not for sale. I'm keeping it forever. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe try Greg's List or Offer Up. Let's talk hearse pairs on this fancy VW. This boy makes 1,600 of them. But that 300 mile per hour record didn't last long after Bugatti said it because another company was hot on their tail, like a like my hounds chasing a fox. They not only broke the record, they absolutely shattered it. 330 miles per hour. That car is the Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute Vodka Mobile. It's named after the company's founder, Jesko von Koenigsegg. You know, he definitely owns multiple capes. Now besides being fast and expensive, it also boasts one ton of downforce. This guy squats. It managed to beat the Bugatti's record with 1,603 horsepower. Now here's another car named after a hard liquor that goes 300 miles per hour. I'm talking about the Hennessy Venom Tom Hardy F5. And F5 is the highest rating a tornado can get on the Fujita scale. This banana colored rocket boat is Hennessy's first completely bespoke automobile. And if you thought hypercars were only for small Italian guys, Hennessy said that an undisclosed NFL player has ordered one of these. This is finally a hypercar for us burly boys. I got Nolan one for his birthday. Don't tell him. It's got a twin turbo V8 called Fury, named after the Brad Pitt movie, and it weighs just 3,000 pounds dry. It broke the power to weight ratio record with an output of 1,817 horsepower. I know what you're thinking. There can't possibly be that many more cars exceeding this, but real life is meaningless. Money isn't real. We live in the metaverse. Next car, Pininfarina Batista. I've talked about it before. I flew the freaking Geneva to look at it. They say it makes 19,000 horsepower. You know what I mean. But Remac 
Who I've also know, I know those guys too. I ate a burger with them. But Remax saw what Paninfarina was doing and said, whoa, 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 bro. But they said it in Croatian, because that's where they're from. And they dropped the Remax Nevera, because they were like, you're Nevera gonna be faster than us. This thing will get you to 100 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds. Its wheels are individually driven by surface mounted magnet motors. What? What does that mean? I don't know. But it beats the Batista with 1914 Hurst Purs. There's a lot of electric supercars in this class that all claim to make pretty similar horsepower. And even though I don't think anyone's actually driven them, also, a lot of them have the same motor as Remac because Remac manufactures it for them. I don't know which ones of these that fall in that category, but I'm gonna rattle off a few. Lotus Avija, 1,972 horsepower, normal. Aspark Owl, 1,985 horsepower. I see no problem with this. This is fine. Estrema Fulminia, 2,011 horsepower. Sure, fine, I'm not scared, are you? When does it end? Who's buying these? Rich people, you need to chill out! We're still not done. Next car, Spa Chaos. Funny story, I was actually arrested and charged with Spa Chaos at a Burke Williams once. Apparently you're not allowed to eat pizza in the sauna. This 3D printed hypercar costs $14 million. And they say, I don't think anyone's actually dynoed it, they say it makes 3,000 horsepower. But that's nothing, nothing! Compared to the final car on this list, our final supercar hails from the lush landscapes of the United Arab Emirates. You've heard us talk about it on this channel before. It's a controversial one, but it makes some pretty big claims. The super duperest of cars, the devil with an E, 16. Powered by a 12.3 liter V16 running four massive turbochargers. This ridiculous looking Batmobile from Dubai actually makes not one, not two, not three, not four, but 5,000 and seven horsepower. How much horsepower? Nobody needs that! Are there even 5,007 horses left in the wild? I don't know, but I do know that not a single human peeing needs this kind of power. <coughs> hey, remember when we said we were gonna do a donut underground giveaway? We're gonna give it away on our donut underground live stream. Well, that is actually happening this Wednesday at 1 p.m. We're gonna be giving away a whole bunch of stuff, things that you've seen on the D-list, donut merch like hats, stickers, shirts, even some things from my personal doll collection. So hit that join button to learn how you can join the Donut Underground, find out more information about it, as well as all the perks that come included with this sweet members exclusive membership. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We didn't include the like in Hypersport on this list because it's fake, uh, or is it? To find out, watch this episode of Wheelhouse. Nolan loves starting beef. It's why he wakes up in the morning. Uh, follow Donut at Donut Media. Follow me at James Pumphrey. If you want to see what's happening on the Donut Underground this week, consider hitting that join button below. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Can you do me a favor and hit that like button? really helps us in the algorithm. The algorithm is the monolith's girlfriend.